We got a little Gerald Paul action going on right here. Tell him, hey, Gerald Paul. Tell him, hey. That is a beautiful Cuckoo Maline, ladies and gentlemen, with his ladies right there. We're going to add to them this year. And uh, I just wanted to show y'all my pretty Cuckoo Malines. They are pretty. We're going to have no less than 10 hens from now on. And we will take one of his roosters just in case something ever happens to Mr. Gerald Paul. But as you see, he is very big. He is very healthy. And we're not worried about losing him. But uh, we got him in the fortified purple coop because... Well, that dude right there, whoo, he's mean. You got to keep him in solitary confinement. The big old guardian dog, Mr. Atlas here. Ain't that right, big guy? Big guardian dog. He is a great Pyrenees, and we love him to death. He is no joke, y'all. He's monstrous. He weighs about 150 pounds, and he wants Mr. McCaw to play with him so bad. Mr. McCaw's a little afraid of him because of the size. Sitting on his butt, he's still taller than Macaw. <laughs> Ain't that right, big guy? I know it. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. All uh, right. But also, uh, whenever we put the hay in here with this bunny, she'll chew it up, put it all in her mouth. I mean, she'll just munt, just ball it all up in her mouth. And she'll stick it in this hay, in this uh, nesting box right here that's full of hay. And she'll just pile it up, chew it up, pile it up. And then she'll start pulling all the hair off of her body, off of her back, off of her belly, stuff like that. Mainly off of her belly and stuff. But uh, she'll stuff it down in there. And then that's whenever you know you got babies on the way, y'all. And uh, she starts pulling hair. You're probably getting them. If it's morning time, you're getting them in the afternoon. If it's night time, you're getting them in the morning. But uh, you just pay attention. You can learn a lot from your rabbits. And uh, we definitely have to get some more breeding going on. So... There's that. Hey, also, uh, I want to give a fun fact. Fun fact, y'all. Uh, in case you didn't know, if you, uh, people ask me all the time, how you get the hay? How you get the hay? Uh, hay is extremely hard to get, especially if you can't afford uh, a lot of hay, and uh, which we can't. So, But if you'll contact a farmer around you, uh, neighbors around you, just put the word of mouth out, y'all. Uh, I end up with hay in a couple of ways like some people want chickens so they'll barter out the chickens for the hay some people uh don't oh want hay. the old hay bales that are taking up room for their new fresh hay and some some years weren't as good as the other years and they didn't like the way that that hay was cut so y'all let me tell you ask them if you can have their garbage hay and you know it'll be the ones that you you see they're out there they look black and gray and all hey y'all Take all that top layer off. Use it for bedding for your chickens or for whatever animal you got. Use it on the ground for their bedding. The more you dig down, you'll realize three quarters, if not more, of that hay bale, y'all, is very, very beautiful hay. And uh, you'll be thankful. Use that tip. I hope that helps. Uh, that's actually one of the smartest tips I, I can give you because uh, we end up with just like this half a bale, and there's another half a bale over here and half a bale there. Y'all, you can barter for it or just, you wouldn't believe it. And uh, I actually got 12 bales one time delivered to my house and it didn't cost me a dime. I thought that was hilarious. But uh, they're awesome people. And they were like, hey, you need garbage hay? Yeah, well, I need to make room. So I'm going to bring it where you want it. Drop it wherever you want. To. Heck, you block my porch. I don't care. Free hay is free hay. So hopefully that's a cool, fun fact for y'all. And uh, till next time. I'm out here with little Mr. McKay still. I uh, just wanted to make sure everybody did know that there are cool tricks and tips that you can do. And there are a ton of people wanting to get rid of garbage hay. And, but there's also people that use it for compost or whatever. But it don't hurt to ask, y'all. I'm your boy Maniac. Thanks for watching Maniac Nation, y'all. Yeah.